put a statement out? Why do you feel like you need to put out a statement at this point? Yeah, um, you know, at, uh, at this point, it's just, it's, it's not about me. I mean, uh, you know, I've always wanted to keep this kind of thing confidential, and I've always, um, right from the beginning of the season, uh, when the season started, I just wanted to focus on hockey and focus on the team and, and winning games and, and trying to lead this team by example and, and not let this be a distraction. And, um, you know, that's why I kind of released a statement where I just want to, you know, people to respect my, my privacy and, and my choice to, um, you know, keep this confidential and private. And, and right now I'm just trying to focus on the team. And that's winning games, trying to make the playoffs and, and um, trying to lead by example night in and night out. And I feel bad for my teammates having to, you know, hear all about, about this, um, you know, in the media. And I, I don't want it to be a distraction, so I apologize to them. And for me, it's just uh, focusing on winning hockey games here. Yeah, it, I mean, obviously it takes a toll. Um, you know, <laughs> getting lots of text messages and my parents and, and wife and, and everybody. So it's, um, you know, it puts a lot of stress on them. Um, but I mean, you know, for the most part, you know, my, my family's been my rock. So, um, you know, they, uh, they're handling it with class and, and, you know, people are respecting their privacy too. And, and, and for me, it's just a matter of, you know, playing hockey right now. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. You know, I want to be a Vancouver Canuck. You know, I'm a Vancouver Canuck right now uh, until they say otherwise. And for me, it's, um, you know, I have have nothing but respect for this organization and I'm very loyal to this, loyal to this organization and I'm going to continue to do so. Given your play, it appears this hasn't been a distraction. You've been playing pretty well. Has it been at all? Do you feel that way? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm just trying to go, like I said, I, I've tried to put it in the in the back of my mind and, and just go and play and, and, and you know, try to lead this team to the playoffs and, and, and do whatever I can to help the team win. And, um, you know, try not to let it be a distraction. And so far, it's it's been good. And, um, you know, I'd like to get some more wins behind it, of course. And we're going to start off by, by doing that again um, against Calgary here tomorrow night. What do you expect from the Flames? Uh, obviously they're, they're a good hockey team. Uh, obviously, we know what they're what they're all about and, and, uh, and how they play. They're a big, strong, heavy team and, and um, you know, are, are really good defensively. So we've got to bring our best tomorrow night. It's going to be a tough challenge for us, but I think we're up for it. See what happened to Chris Tanner last night. What goes yeah, no, I know. I'm scared for him. I sent him a text last night, and, and you know, he was he said he was he's doing a lot better, and he's um, you know obviously feeling better. So I'm happy he's, he's going to be okay, and hopefully he'll get back in the lineup soon.